ConAgra Foods. With brands like these, we can't help but smile. ConAgra Foods, food you love. When it comes to kids and food, what drives their likes or dislikes? Is it genetics or environment? Well, according to a recent report from University College London, while genetic and environmental effects are both significant in predicting food preferences in children, the environment has a larger influence on energy-dense foods like snacks, dairy, and starches. But genetics have a stronger influence on nutrient-dense foods like fruits, vegetables, and protein. This study focused on a large group of UK twins born back in 2007 and looked at preferences for 114 different foods. Researchers say that by looking at twins, it's easier to observe which variation in a population can be explained by either genetics or environment. Results show that vegetables were the least liked, followed by dairy, protein, and starch. Not surprisingly, snacks like chocolate, cookies, ice cream, and chips were the most liked. Genetics were found to only have a moderate influence on starch, snacks, or dairy. Vegetable preferences and protein, on the other hand, were strongly influenced by the genetics. The shared home environment had a significant influence on preferences for snacks, starches, and dairy, and only moderate influence on fruits, vegetables, and protein. The study's author, Dr. Allison Fields, says that the findings of this study show that while the home environment is very influential, particularly in shaping children's liking for energy-dense snacks and starchy foods, the extent to which children like some other foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and protein, is highly heritable. But she also wants to make it clear, this does not mean that parents can't or shouldn't intervene. For parents, the most important note to remember is that the influence of inherited food preferences does not mean environmental interventions are insignificant, especially when it comes to those energy-dense snacks. This is also an important note for retailers to remember. Food within the home environment is impactful when it comes to the development of children's food preferences. Parents need to be supported and given guidance, and supermarkets should step in here. Healthful foods should be on display in ways that easily identify those nutritional benefits. Why not have tips, techniques, and recipe ideas that help increase a child's liking for healthy foods, like vegetables, on display constantly? Also prepared meals that are nutritious and healthy should be available to get families through that busy week. Studies like this one become opportunities for supermarkets to step up and help families by being a community source of knowledge and guidance and wellness. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.